Hey, this is Lisa. Thank you for watching one of my videos. Today, what we're doing is the Tupperware pressure cooker. Um, it's kind of like a crock pot that you could put into the microwave. So yes, I did say we're gonna put a pressure cooker in the microwave. I know when I was growing up, my grandmother had a pressure cooker that she would use all the time. But when, we, when she was using the pressure cooker, we couldn't go into the kitchen because they were afraid that little thing, shh, was gonna pop off and shoot your eye out or something, okay? So, but you don't have to worry about this. This one is absolutely safe and it does go into the microwave. So, that is our pressure cooker. I'll show you all about it today. Um, but what we're gonna make today is a, um, I'm gonna call it chicken noodle soup. <laughs> so, and you know, on the weekends and stuff when it's kind of cool outside or if you have sick ones or anything like that, or you just want to, veg in front of the TV and eat some chicken noodle soup. It would be a great time to do that. So um, the pressure cooker is going to make it very easy for you. So what, I'm, what I have done already is I have the, um, the chicken. It's like a three pound chicken is what you need. Um, this one is a little bit bigger than three pounds because my family likes um, a meaty kind of soup. So you can always do a little bit bigger, but I've already rinsed my chicken off and everything. And it's going to, I'm just going to take him and put him breast up right inside the um pressure cooker and we're going you can see it there okay and then i'm going to take it and i'm going to fill it with um three cups of water there's one and these are our measuring cups that we have two So we're going to make sure it's covered and everything. And now I'm going to put the top on. Let me rinse my hands off. Okay. So all we're going to do here is we're going to put the top. Just let's set that on. It does. It just locks right there. It goes. And then we're going to twist it. <laughs> my hands are a little bit wet there you go so and then so it's locked in that way it also you push this little lever down and it locks it in here this is the little um, valve that the steam is going to come out where it goes you know the um, where you had the whistle and this is the little indicator it's gonna it is the whistle and it actually does whistle and i'll let you see that as well but um for right now we're going to put this in the in the microwave for 25 minutes and while i'm while it's cooking i'm going to do the um the vegetables the celery and the carrots and onion and stuff to put in there so i'll see you back in a little bit hey i'm back and while the chicken is cooking i have um put our other ingredients into the power chef and well, it's actually the sonic chef now <laughs> so um but what i've done is i have celery two stalks of celery two um carrots um some garlic and half of the onion we're not big on onion so just a half instead of a whole onion so and i have chopped it all up using my uh, knife here that we have that also comes with a cover which i love so when you're transporting it or even leaving it in the drawer it's safe for you also use the garlic press and um, our cutting board here and then um, i wanted to show you the fridge smart here that i have this is the um, large deep one, but I have the celery and the carrots inside there. So um, that it's, you can put those two together because they breathe the same way. So, and I want you to see that I did put them in there dirty so that you don't wash them before you put them in there because that starts the um, process of them getting old. So just wanted to show you that. And, um, and isn't that nice how they both fit in the same thing so you, and you can see through it so you know what's inside there. So what I'm gonna do now is just chop up my, um, in the power shelf, this is a little bit easier to do. So I'm gonna pull it, and you can see the, there we go. Them carrots are tough. <laughs> that chopped them up so you can see inside and I have a few more I'm going to add I tell you what I'm going to take these out and then add the others don't you think 
that was me talking to my husband asking for advice. So I'd like to thank him for always helping me with my um, demos and things. So we're just going to put them in here. And then we'll put this little blade. You have to be careful with that blade because it is very sharp. And then we're just going to put the big pieces, the other ones that I didn't chop up in here. You'll see how nice they go in. And the more, that's a little onion. Okay, so the more you chop it, the finer it gets. This is a great one that we use to do um, cabbage for coleslaw. It makes it so fine. It is just, it's absolutely wonderful that way. So, all right, I think I've got all my big pieces in there. Nope, one more. Celery. So, celery does give things a nice flavor and stuff. So, now we're going to put the top right back on. There we go. And then I'm going to give it a couple more turns, pulls. Well, I don't have it on. There we go. different types or different sizes of uh, celery and carrots and onions inside so all right so now we'll just be waiting on the chicken to finish and I'll let you see that so see you back hey this is Lisa and we are back with the um, chicken and the chicken is um, done it's in there it stopped doing the little whistle and um, so I'm gonna open it up and Let's see what it looks like. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll see. It's very warm, so my hands are cold, so it's kind of kind of delaying this so I can warm my hands up. <laughs> but anyway, how you open up the pressure cooker is you lift the side here, the little lever here on the side. You lift that up, and so that's one safety feature, and then you just twist. It's that easy. So, and I'm going to open it away from me because I know it's going to be hot. Look at that beautiful chicken in there. So, oh, and you see it does have a little rubber ring on it, just like our grandparents' theirs was. So, I'm going to set it over to the side, and we're going to take the chicken out. I'm going to take the chicken out, and I am going to debone it. You don't have to watch all of that. I'll do that myself. So, hopefully, I'm going to just pick it up like this and put it over here. Whoa, yay, yay. Glad that worked out. <laughs> so, um, now... We're going, I'm going to let that sit there. Isn't this a beautiful plate that I have, a um, dish that I have here? So, I am, and then this is another one. This is our clearly elegant line. It does come with seals as well. So, I love these. They're so pretty. It looks like glass, but it's not. So, I'm going to add our vegetables in. You know, you could, even if you didn't want to make um, soup or anything like that, you could um, do your chicken and do it for um, chicken salad and things like that. So, or chicken and dumplings, wouldn't that be good? Yummy, love some chicken and dumplings. Okay, so we have that. We're going to add one cup of the pasta. This is the Oz Ozo, Orzo pasta. So, and I would assume you could use chicken noodles or regular noodles or whatever kind you have, but this is the kind that I have that it calls for. And then I'm gonna add my other cup of water I'm going to add quite the whole cup, some more water, and then I'm going to give it a stir, just, I mean, I hope this is going to be good, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and now we're going to put the top back on, whoop, drop the handle, that's okay, it comes off. So, I'm going to put the top back on and give it a nice twist, put my little handle on. Okay, and I'm gonna lock it down. That's how easy it is. And now it goes back in the microwave, I believe, for 
um, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for 10 minutes and I will let you see the little whistle going. And then while that's happening, I'm gonna debone the chicken. I'm not gonna make you watch me do that. So have a great day. See you soon. Hey, I know I told you I wasn't gonna make you watch me debone this chicken, but you've got to see this. So I just, you can see how easy the skin comes off of it. But look how tender this chicken is. Look, I mean, y'all, it, it, that amazes me how nice and tender that chicken is. So, wanted you to see that. I will be back soon. Okay, it's ready, it's gone off, so I want to show you how you can take it out of the microwave and see it uh, hissing. So, here we go. I'm gonna take it out by holding on to the stay cool handles. Can you hear it hissing? There it is. Oh, bring it. Wayne's telling me to bring it to you, so you can, you can hear it hissing. So, don't do what I just did. Don't do this. Okay, so I wanted to show you that that's the steam that comes out of it. So, um, when that finishes, I'll be back and we'll add the chicken and see what we got. So, thank you. Okay, we're back. This is the final video. So, um, I'm going to take take this off. Just lift it again. You just lift it straight up. Very easy to do. Twist it. Again, I'm going to lift it away from me. Well, that looks great. And I do have the chicken is all shredded. Um, Wayne went ahead and added some salt and pepper because I forgot to do that. So, we're going to, I'm just going to pour this over into the soup. And look at there, we have, whoop, don't want to leave anything behind. So, let's do that. So, and let's give it a quick little stir. Wow, that looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. So, we, uh, so again, I've shown you the, um, the pressure cooker today. It is, um, you can get the pressure cooker. Woo, I sloshed some out. <laughs> um, you can get the pressure cooker for $149. That is our price. A lot of times our host will get these. It will be a, a host gift that they can get, you know, for with their free product that they earn, or they can get it for half price. But right now, you can purchase it for $149, and you also get a four-set uh, piece bowl set for free, and you get these for free. So you get all of you buy the pressure cooker, and you get these for free. So, and this is a $50 value. So, um, that is what we have for you today. So, make sure that uh, you book your party, get you a pressure cooker, and let um, Tupperware take the pressure off of dinner. Have a good day.